S to get those milk moustaches. Fly. Cheese, butter, yoghurt and ice cream. What do these four things have in common? Other than the fact I find all of them delicious. They're all made from milk. Last year an estimated 800 million tonnes of cow's milk was produced. 800 mil billion tonnes. That's a lot of milk and to make all of that milk we need a lot of cows. So what's the problem with just having a lot of fields full of cows? Well, aside from the land degradation, water pollution and biodiversity loss that comes from agricultural expansion, cows fart. More cows means more enteric emissions and these contribute to greenhouse gases which contribute to climate change. So should we just sit back sipping on a pint of cow's milk and wait for the inevitable end of humanity brought about by cow farts? I prefer not. I'm sorry Daisy but we're gonna have to find an alternative. And I know, I know, I know, there are many alternatives already available in supermarkets today. The thing is, a lot of people like cow's milk and they'd be hesitant to switch from it. So what are we gonna do about this? One approach is to make cowless cow's milk. What scientists can do is they identify the genes in the cow's genome that code for milk proteins. They then synthesize these genes and put them into baker's yeast. The yeast actually produce the milk proteins as a byproduct of their own metabolism. Pretty cool. Add some vegetable fats, some minerals and some sugars and bam, you've got synthetic cow's milk. Oh, so that's the theory. Synthetic cow's milk is only in its research and development phase at the moment, and so it's likely going to be a long time before it's on our supermarket shelves. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe and check in the box below for links for more information.